Hey guys, how's it going? So, my name is Mela Headley and welcome back to another gameplay commentary of Black Ops 2. So, um, I just really wanted to make a quick commentary about the new YouTube layout. Um, so, the new YouTube layout, um, it dropped, I think, yesterday. Um, it's available, I think, to pretty much everyone. Um, your account probably needs to be in good standing, or it may not need to be. Um, but if you're interested in knowing how to get it now, um, then basically you don't have to be a partner to get it. You can be pretty much just have an account on YouTube and you can get it so different way to get it there's two different ways you need to go to your dashboard and if you have the little tab for i think youtube recommendations click that and it should be there about the new youtube layout you click i think it's there's a link for learn about the new layout or something um so that's one way you can look at it or you can either go to i think youtube.com slash one channel i think is the link i'll put it in the description somewhere and um, so you can go to it and basically scroll down to the bottom of the page and it click opt in for the new channel basically that'll take you then to the new channel you can add a banner you can sort your thing out you can add an, um, a channel trailer for non-subscribers to see but really i want to talk about what i think about the new youtube layout now um, i uploaded a video about a month ago was it when this was first announced and basically i didn't really like it back then i guess um, I know it's not really fair to review any, something without actually using it for yourself and now that I've actually used it for a day um, I actually think it's not that bad there are a few things that I really don't like but some of the things that they've added I really do like um, so we'll start with the things that you like actually first so I like that the, I kind of like the new banner you know, the idea that uh, you can have a, a one banner for all devices um, so if you don't know if you're on PC then the banner is a certain size you can see that if you're on say TV which is the biggest size banner um, then it'll show the whole image so you can put extra stuff around um, for TV users I think tablet users get a slightly extra space as well and mobile users I think is pretty similar to desktop um, so that's pretty cool that the banner changes and as far as I can tell as well the banner doesn't have any clickable links which I guess can be a bad thing but the way I see it it's kind of good because it's one less thing we have to worry about I mean if before on the old banner you had to go to image map you had to put all your links in all of my, and do it yourself you had to make sure the image was the right size to fit in the banner in the background and to be honest now they've added i think four links you can have in the bottom right hand corner of your banner and basically these take you to you can configure them for anything you want really and um, you can have your second channel like i have you can have twitter facebook google plus you can have instagram you can have pin interest i think and there's a whole lot a lot of other ones um so check them out all yourself there's lots of ones you can put um I think you can have three social network um, links and you can have one then external link either to your YouTube channel, to a website, um, to you know, whatever merchandise. You can have Spreadshirt as well as another one. And so I like that. I like the idea of uh, they've added that. It leaves it a lot simpler. Um, another big thing, I guess, that's a good point about the new background is that non-partners now um, are pretty much the same as partners and um, the background or the banner I sorry it's available to everyone um, anyone can use it I've done it on my second channel my vlog channel and um, I've got the banner on that you can check that out as well links in the description um, so it proves that um, partner or non-partners can have the background or banner sorry I keep calling the background um, so that's pretty cool um, so yes the bad things I don't like the the fact that you don't have a background you know you, uh, the channel looks very similar to everyone else apart from the banner of course but the channel looks all the same you know it's very white it's very clean looking yes um but it looks um every channel pretty much looks the same um i like well another thing i do like i kind of like the playlist the little tab i don't know what it's called you roll over them and then you can go across all the different videos and playlists. I like that as well. Um, but yeah, I don't like, I like, I dislike the lack of customi customability, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean, and you can't customize it as much as you could the last one. I dislike that there's so many tabs you have to click on. For example, um, the home tab is where all your videos are and you, your, your featured video is. Um, but if you want to see the channel description or how many subscribers someone has or any actual links they have, then you have to go to the about um, I think it's about just it's called not about me just the about tab and that takes you that and to be honest people are lazy you don't want to click on everything to get to the place you want you know um, layout you can pretty much see everything on the one page you know you had your videos on the list you had your featured video on the left you had your channel description on the right with all your links and you had the banner above and people like that and I think that's why a lot of people are upset with this new background um, but to be honest we're going to get used to it um, this time next year YouTube will probably change the layout again and we'll all be up in arms again about us not liking it no, this one's fine um, but to be honest since I've started using it I have actually kind of grown to it a little bit I um, mean I get what they're doing I really like the unsubscribe trailer you can put 
if you don't know what that is, you can basically make a video that basically sells your channel to non-subscribers. If someone comes on your channel and they aren't subscribed to you, then they will see a particular video that you do. Um, I made one, I think yesterday I made it. Um, basically just I introduced myself, see what I do on my channel. I played a couple of clips from my best videos or my, I think ones that I just have uh, made recently. And I did that, so that's pretty good. It gives people a chance to see what your channel, what you do on your channel. Um, so I'd recommend you make that for anyone that's wondering. Um, and I like that, yeah. Um, I think it's one of the good things, probably it's actually the best thing about the new, the new layout, I think. Um, I mean, it's something very simple, but it's very effective. I think it'll be in the future. It'll get you some more subscribers, hopefully. And I think that's about it for what I want to say about it. I'll quickly just open it up here and see if I've missed anything. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, do you guys like it? Um, what do you dislike? What do you really like? Um, so I'm looking at it here now, and as I said, it's very clean looking. Um, I kind of like that you can stack playlists and you can scroll along, although you can only have 11 videos to show. For example, my Walking Dead playlist is here on my channel. If I scroll over, it only shows the first um, 11 items, so the first 11 videos, and which is kind of annoying. I wish that they would show them all. Um, then you have to click another link again to get the rest of them. Um, but yeah, I like the unsubscribe trailer. Um, I think there's too many tabs. You know, you've got your home page, which is either browse or feed. Um, videos, discussion, which is all the comments that people add to your channel, and then the About Me page, and that shows all your dis channel description. Um, any extra links you have, any featured channels, and uh, then the last tab is pretty much um, just search, and that you means you can search channels. Um, but yeah, that's really it. That's my opinion. I like it um, to an extent that I've used it now. I think people will get used to it as they do everything. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, I've been Mel Headley, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.